Okay, so going through this pile of dies here, and there is a list of these on our website to show you what's actually included and their measurements. These ones here, we have the round uh, ribbon die. Now that's pretty cool. These are hollow dies. So these dies here, you use the Z brace with, which is this additional piece of steel. There's another hollow die, a round hollow die, a smaller round hollow die, hexagonal, that is also hexagonal, just a bit smaller. Just didn't look quite like a hexagon when I opened that one. And then a smaller one of these, um, I don't know what you call those, a flat die maybe? So you get two sizes of flat die. Okay, there is your blank. So if you're using one of these, the um, beveled edge is the part that faces up to the clay and you shift around your blank over the top so that it forces the clay through the, through the die that you want to use. So that gives you a range of different sizes. You've got a flat, there's a square and a hexagon. Different sizes of round and again different sizes of round. So you can pretty much cover off just about any diameter that you would need to make. So you loosen off your, your bolts. You don't, don't think you have to remove them completely. There we go, remove both. Ta-da, slip that one out. That's a blank, you can do whatever you like with that one. Maybe create your own shape. Have it cut. Okay, so let's just say we wanted to do a, a flat die like this one. All you do is you pop the die in, tighten up the bolts, pop your clay, handle, push it through. If you're going to use a multi die, then you would use your, um, your blank over the top, pop that over the top like that, put it into your press, into your extruder, tighten up your, your bracket at the bottom. Thirdly, using a hollow die, using your Z bracket, take the nut off the top, place that down, sorry, take the, take that as well. So it has to fit into the groove, so you use the, um, the upside that has the matching groove to the bracket, pop that through. Use your washer and the nut. So it is easier if you're putting a hollow die in to actually at least remove one of them. So I would like to maybe remove both. Just gives you a better area to work with. So there's your die. These little grooves, these bevels here, encourage the clay when it's been um, when it's been wedged correctly. And there's no air pockets. Encourage the clay to actually reform on the other side of the bracket to give you that hollow effect. So you place that on the bottom of your extruder and you place these back on and tighten them up. And don't forget, once you've popped your clay through, give it a really good clean. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here, please subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And um, we'll be back with another video soon.